Uh, it's Q&A number four this it's week. Four. Number four already. Flying. Welcome back to School of Calisthenics, guys. We are here. I'm Question Masters back again. I've, the first question I'm going to ask this week is, 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 when do I get to be Question Master? Just stop me there, Tim. <laughs> You're not Question Master, and therefore you can't ask a question. Oh, just answer them. Right, okay. I see there's a hierarchy somewhere here. <laughs> I think on that note we should probably start yeah. with question one. And they have, one. in Q&A number two, we gesticized. Is that a right word? Is that I me joking? That, have I made that up? Like gesturing? Yeah. Gesticized? Gestis no? I don't think that's a, well, that's a question for We you. made a joke about uh, the questions flooding in, mm. but now they are actually flooding in. Overwhelmed? Not yet. But uh, enjoying the number of questions. Yeah, anyway, coming, guys. I'm gonna ask genuinely the like first one. Want to be able to give out some good quality information, so keep keep these questions coming in. So, uh, <laughs> Barrett, I don't know if that's his real name, but it looks like a proper surname. But I might be, he might be like Swedish or something. Then. But anyway, up uh, Barrett on yeah. YouTube. This hi guys, just found your YouTube channel. I'm gonna add a little bit in from him. I'm assuming he think he, he thinks it's great. <laughs> I have just started <laughs> calisthenics for about three weeks, so that's right, really early doors. It weighs 200 pounds, 90.7 kilos. Do you think I need to lose weight before I can do a lot of the tricks like uh, muscle ups, as the example he gave? Thanks, guys. He does say love the videos. Um, thanks for the question. Yeah, good question. Let's. Uh, so, we're going to talk about calisthenics is strength to weight ratio. So, it really doesn't matter how much you weigh if your strength is relative to that. So if you could be, like I've seen some stuff like, it, it, you may say it's a good or bad example, but Cali Muscle, like go on YouTube and see this, the size of that guy doing human flags, muscle ups, like this guy probably weighs 100 kilos maybe, I would say. Probably more. But like just freakishly strong in that sense and we'll stop there in terms of delving into his How he got training methods. <laughs> However, the principle being that you can get big, you can be big and you can be good at calisthenics. It's just literally a matter of training effectively. Um, and I think you, it's really about optimizing what your body composition is. So if you're carrying a little bit of excess body weight that you would like to get a little bit leaner, then certainly look at how you can use training methods to do that, look at your nutrition to do that. Ultimately, the less weight that we've got to shift in calisthenics, the easier it's gonna be. But you certainly don't need to wait until you've optimized body composition yeah. before you start getting there some muscle ups and stuff. Yeah, there isn't a, there isn't a, there isn't a number of reps of, of pull-ups you can do that then automatically means you can do a muscle up. There isn't a weight that you need to be to then be able to do a muscle up. Um, you're three weeks in, and for, as a, in terms of a beginner, we, you need to get like, nail down your basic fundamental yeah, yeah. exercises, build up that basic strength. Uh, you're pulling, pushing, core strength, all that stuff's covered in, that, in our free uh, beginner's guide. Um, but equally, just touching on that, like, new, new um, tutor we've got in, Seth the Bear, he's like 90 odd kilos, um, but he's strong. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's, yeah. It, like Tim said, it's strength to weight ratio. You could be, um, my wife's 55 kilos. She can't do a muscle up. Yeah. Even though she's very light, she's not strong enough. So it's she it, kick your ass in the same <laughs> yeah. Don't take her on in a running race. But it's 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 that it's that that strength to weight ratio. But the the nice thing I like about calisthenics is that that it's about you being strong for your weight, not being strong compared to someone else. Um, yeah. And so that's. I think the point you make there about being three weeks in. When I first started calisthenics, yeah. I I blocked out three months. My big thing I was worried about losing muscle mass because I was like always I just convinced myself over the years I needed to do all these dumbbell barbell exercises to, to maintain a certain physique and I said right three months I don't care what happens in three months I want to go on this journey and see what happens and what I found was my body composition changed for the better and yeah. just as a result of being calisthenics and what that means around we, we really like to talk about the natural way to train and, and that filters into your diet and you kind of want to you know that eating healthily and, and all that sort of stuff kind of all fits into what calisthenics is about. So give yourself some time, nail the basics, see where you're at in three months. Yeah. I think also you your body's not stupid. It knows that what you're trying to do when you're starting to train body weight and it, it's not necessarily trying to, it knows it's not trying to build like excessive amounts yeah. of muscle because the jobs you're trying to give it to do or the tasks you're giving it to do in your training don't help yeah, yeah. being big and bulky. The body or the brain effectively is managing the, the body to be, as, it just wants to be efficient. Yeah. Like it just, that's why we adapt to exercise. That's why if you run or you train or whatever else, the body adapts because it wants to make the system more efficient and therefore come at what, you, what you're challenging with, the exercise that you do come at a lower energy cost. 
So it's all about survival. You boil it all down to the bottom. Bodybuilders have to work so hard to build muscle because they can't, it's not, having that amount of mass is actually not that efficient for the body. Yeah. So calisthenics is definitely about efficiency, strength to, weight, strength to weight ratio, and just have fun with it. Like, don't yeah. complicate those things, the, 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 the tricks as you, as you turn on muscle ups and all that sort of stuff, that comes in time. But it's part of this journey, just, just have fun with it. That's yeah. what I'd say. And we just finish on the fact that something that's we've been passionate about and why we feel it's been so good for everybody and for us personally is and we fall we still fall out of this trap sometimes of like worrying about what we look like rather than like what we can do. Yeah. Calisthenics has changed that in terms of you're trying to achieve a movement, a thing that you're trying to do, a hold, a muscle up, or a lever, whatever that is and you'll look a certain way because of your training rather than trying to be a specific way, yeah. trying to be a specific body competition. Um, that mentally is, is a much more positive way to look at your training and to focus your training on and that's it's a bit fluffy but it's not BS, like that is genuine, that's how I feel. Yeah. So um, that is a huge benefit to calisthenics from, from my point of view is definitely. Hope that helps. Cool. So, number two. I'm, not, I'm actually going to stop calling you. Yeah, no. I don't, I feel like this is what this is number four. We've already got to that point. Yeah, but I feel like you're you're stabbing yourself as a slightly yeah, higher rank if than you me want in, to, in the Q and A no, realm. Like, I'm not even allowed to. No, I have to, I'm not allowed no, to. The expert is also the one that answers the questions <laughs> and have to call you question master. Um, I feel very even. Well, if you wanted to seem to be question master, you're not doing anything to <laughs> help your argument. Right. Next question is um, <laughs> Anton Haddad. He says, hi guys, I love the video. Uh, he was commenting from the muscle up one. Um, I like the science you, uh, the science touch you have added to the equation. Nice, I like the word you've used there in your sentence, equation. Yeah. Um, and Tim will like that, because Tim That's likes being scientific. Tim's got masters in uh, yeah, I'm a master of, of um, exercise science, research masters. Um, right, um, anyway, yeah, go on. less about you, more about this question. My max pull ups is 10 in a row. Do you think I'm ready to start training for muscle ups? Uh, do you think weighted pull ups can help as well with the explosiveness? And one more question besides being an impressive move, what is so great about muscle ups? As in, what are the benefits? Um, Thank you, you are indeed underrated. I will be sharing all your videos on Facebook. It's a quick fire way to get your question read out, is put him. a compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dave will definitely question master, will definitely pick the ones that make him uh, boost make our us. egos yeah. a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I think, um, can you just say the, the, the most important, or the most interesting part of that question I thought I'd like you to touch on first is what is the, like, why bother trying, why are people trying to do a muscle up? What's, yeah. What are the benefits of a muscle up or why do it? Yeah, I thought that was a great question. Yeah, yeah, it is good. We're writing our um, muscle up ebook at the moment, and um, I've put uh, my introduction to that that we've, that we've put down kind of touches on this. I think there's probably two, uh, two angles from this. The, the muscle up is something that when you see someone do it, there's something inside you, if you kind of got appreciation for training and movement, you go, actually, I just want to be able to do that. Yeah. It's just a very <coughs> simple feeling. That, that it's just a cool move. Like it shows that you've got quite a lot of, of um, athletic ability, some strength, some speed in the locker, which you can go from underneath the bar to above it and link all that sort of stuff together. It's a very complete of body movement for me. We've yeah. got explosive pulling, we've got speed, we've got a push and a pull. And we sometimes, like from an athletic performance perspective, we do a lot with athletes and we use Olympic lifting techniques like cleans and, and snatches and that kind of thing. And for us, we've talked before about the muscle up being an upper body version of that same thing. We're going from a high speed tension movement or high speed, create a lot of tension, create a lot of strength and transitioning into something else to create the yeah. movement. As you I think when together. you see it, when you can't do it yet, you see the first part and you're like, yeah, I can do a pull up. And you're like, how the hell does somebody get then above the bar? Yeah. Like I remember having, seeing that and, and even now, like still, when you see a nice muscle up, you can appreciate yeah. that it look it. And what I also really appreciate it's, it's a great challenge. Is if someone's really doing 10, 15 muscle ups and they're still looking clean, that yeah, is hard. Yeah. So I think it's a massive challenge. But I think if I was to pick, if, if you said to me like you can only pick one exercise to do to maintain something, like if I've got five minutes of training, 
three times a week, what are you going to do to maintain upper body strength? I'll just do muscle ups, yeah. I reckon. Just because it ticks pulling, just pushing, everything. all those boxes. Yeah, yeah I, I reckon I maintain a bit of everything with just, just from doing muscle ups and variations. Like, even if you were just taking the progressions of, of pull ups or straight bar dips, like, you're still going to get a lot of ticks in, in, in those boxes. Yeah. So that's why it's great, it's just, it does everything and it's, uh, it, it looks flipping cool as well. But just to, there's a couple of other points about. Yeah. Um, you can do 10 pull-ups, well yeah, like are you ready to go for muscle-ups, but again that the video that we put up there is all about speed, if you can just get your chin above the bar but you're not really getting the height on the bar, you're not getting that, that high pull position, that's where you need to start to spend some time. You can do that using weighted pull-ups, it may not be a strength issue, it may be a speed component, there is some transitional kind of specifics that we're talking about in the ebook as well which is going to help you need some shoulder range of movement and, and that sort of thing in there. Um, I think it's to fit that whole movement together. Yeah, I think it's likely that like power being elements of uh, strength and speed, yeah. and you're probably going to have to work. If you can do ten pull-ups, you're probably going to have to work on both of them. Mm -hmm. So working working speed, like we showed with some um, assist, band assisted high pulls, but then strength wise, working like three to five reps yeah. again long. Um, now, honestly, question master, I think be should be reprimanded. It's actually the headmaster. I just have to put him on silent. Um, the uh, yeah. Sorry. I'll, I'll tell him. No. <laughs> Tomo. <laughs> we're just doing. We're, no, we're doing a Q and A. You're live. <laughs> You're live. Nero. Are you coming? <laughs> oh, if, if, if headmaster's coming. Let's better behave. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, crikey. Right, silent. Yeah, it's on silent. Right. So, uh, so the strength, the, the strength part of it, drop the reps down, three to five reps, good rest in between, and, and, and start working some weighted pull-ups. So you're building up your strength, building up your speed, and you put them together for that part. Perfect. Yep. I've now lost complete train of what we were talking about. That's that was muscle. That's the so end of the cool. question. But thanks for the question, Anthony. Right, the last one, third question. Uh, Jamie, where is he? Jamie, 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 Jamie. Jamie Nicholson. Um, he again starts his question very well. Hello. <laughs> Common thread. Hello. Tread. Hello. Hi, Jamie. Uh, I enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I have a question for your Q&A sessions. My flexibility is rubbish. Sounds a bit harsh on himself. Uh, and I find pike push-ups hard. Whilst I'm working on that, can you recommend any shoulder exercises that can be done using rings? I'm currently using rings to work on triceps and biceps. Thanks for your time and hard work. You guys are doing an amazing job. I wish you based down here in West Sussex. Is it sunny in West Sussex? I don't know, if it's warmer than here we might move. Yeah. It's, it's cold this morning. We did, we did a hard two lesson outside this morning. Just about got feeling back in my fingertips. But anyway, Jamie, yeah? Um, using, um, we spoke about this a little bit before we started to, we started the camera rolling, um, about using your rings for your buys and tries, but then not having utilized the rings for um, Anything else? And Tim's a massive fan of using the rings. For yeah, I love it. Lots of like shoulder health and ro shoulder robustness. Um, yeah, I think the the rings exposes everything that's that's you potentially got going on that's that's weak. So it, the, you really can't hide from yourself when you're using rings. If you, even if you're just doing dips, and we find that we're just rolling the shoulders in, like that's just the shoulder telling you that it's not stable enough or strong enough to be in a <clears throat> in a more neutral position. So whereas in a bar, the bar's fixed. You can hide a whole manner of kind of. Uh, weaknesses in your shoulders or your kinetic chain or whatever it might be but the, the rings expose those you can't hide that's what I love about it it's a really pure way of training and it's massively challenging yeah. so many exercises that you could do the, I like I jokes and says if you've if you got to, if you've got rings and use them for buys and tries excuse me that's a great um, it's actually really it's a nice little accessory exercise to do with the rings but you could just get all of that sort of stuff in like using them for different pull-ups using different grips different dip positions um, ring flies chest flies on the rings, yeah. using them for planche push-ups with your feet in, it's such a versatile tool. Skin in the cap, because you're talking about yeah. your shoulder flexibility, skin in the cap would be a great one because you're going to be taking that shoulder for its full range all the way around, but you're also building up the strength through yeah. that range of motion, which... Take it into like a, a popular kind of gym piece of kit now, they've always got suspension trains in yeah, TRX, like TRX, well they are just rings, but, but for me, like people say, oh, which, was, which is better, is a TRX better than this? I'm like, no, the ring is the, is the perfect one. It's people have tried to make something better, which actually yeah. didn't need improving. Yeah. So all of the things that you do on a bar, pretty much, whether it's muscle-ups, dips, pull-ups, whatever that might be, you can do on rings. But you get the added instability challenge. And then all the things that you would use a TRX for, whether that's even supported pistol squats for the lower body, with just holding a ring and, and, and being able to do single squats with pistols. 
as you say, I'm a real big fan of putting feet into the rings and then starting to play around with push yeah. positions and, and challenging the core. Walk back handstands with feet in the rings is like so much stuff on that. And actually, somebody sent us an email saying, Are we going to do a ring specific um, book? Or so I think it could be quite a good series for, for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's Talking through it now, yeah, we'll do one, I think. Yeah. It's such a 50 well, week. I bought my rings off Amazon for 15 quid. Yeah. Like, they, it's half, half a gym membership for a month. I could go and hang them on a tree or, or beam at home. I've got a pull up bar at home, stick them on there, and I, I don't need anything else. Yeah, it's great. And like, uh, when I go on holiday, yeah, yeah. You don't I'm, take any, yeah. hardly any space in your bag, you take yeah. them and then. There's we're going, somewhere we're going away next week, and it's the, I think I might want to do a bit of training while I'm away. And I, the first thing I put in my bag is my rings. Yeah. And it's such you don't a. need it. Nah, that's it. I'm like, I'm set. That's what I need. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Tim's mentioned a load of exercises there. Um, there's some, some of the exercises in like the beginner's guide use that we, you can use the rings for um, and we will we'll be putting together, I'm keen to do it, so certainly whether we put together like a full programme that's like a paid for product on the website, I don't know, but we'll certainly put together some uh, free tutorials and content for, or a nice little yeah. se ring series um, on YouTube, so um, I've already written down some stuff in my little playbook for so, some ideas around that, um, but keep an eye out for that. Um, if I just go back just on the yeah. push ups around that, if the flexibility is hard and it's interesting that you use the term rubbish on that one. So, just we, we talk a lot about longer term progression about identifying your weaknesses. So, definitely prioritize that. Just understand what you're trying to do, and it's probably around the hamstring flexibility potentially for the pipe push ups and the shoulders a little bit, but being able to get that position. Um, so, yeah, just, just stick that as a priority in training as well. Um, just yeah, portion at a time because that if you can get that flexibility right, then it's going to make a big difference for a lot of other things. Yeah. Whereas if you don't sort that out and just try and get strong at some point, you're either going to break down and get injured, or you're going to have to go back and and, and, yeah. and resort out some of that joint alignment and, and mobility. Yeah. Perfect. So if you have any more questions that you want us to answer for next time in the comments below. I, I feel like I need to apologise, one for the phone ringing, but then two for answering it, but it was the headmaster. <laughs> I, I was hoping you'd be here by now so you could actually meet him, but um, when the headmaster calls, yeah, 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 yeah. make sure it's like the bad phone. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, comments play if you've got any more. Thanks for listening and we will see you next time. Class dismissed.